No better way to start the day than the Blue Mountains of Jamaica and, of course, Blue Mountain Coffee. It is sensational. Connoisseurs from all over the world say that it's the finest and it has all that richness, the delicateness and the mellowness of the beautiful country, Jamaica. Ian Fleming, the James Bond novelist, wouldn't let 007 drink anything less. He also said without the inspiration of this beautiful country Jamaica, he might not have written any of his novels. I wonder if he would have been equally as inspired if he had tasted my pineapple French toast. It really is quite delightful. Two slices of bread here, just plain bread. And here in Jamaica, it's slightly sweet, so perhaps you might replace it with a brioche or something like that. Make sure you coat it really well with lots of butter, especially at the edge, to seal it in afterwards. That's it. And then I've got one tin of pineapple that I've sort of crushed down. Ordinary pineapple chunks or rings of pineapple. Just fork down, take out all the juice and spice it up. A little bit of mixed spice and a couple of teaspoons of sugar. Just give that a really good mix there. Mix that in. Then take your pineapple mixture and put it on top of one buttered side of the bread. Scrape that out, a couple of really sort of heaped spoons there, really pile that up in the middle. And then take the buttered side and put that on top. And just push your fingers around the edge there to create that little island effect. Ah, isn't that lovely? <laughs> take a couple of eggs to our bowl. Add some cream. and just beat that up and give that a little bit of the rhythm. <laughs> really, we get a lot of rhythm here in the islands, I tell you. They love their music, they love their food, and I'm not surprised because it's surrounded by these beautiful translucent waters. It's magnificent. There we are now. A little bit more mixed spice. That's it. Then, you can add a couple of teaspoons of rum. Make it tablespoons. You could use the pineapple juice that you've extracted from the pineapple, but I think the rum kind of adds something extra special to it. Movie people love to make movies in this island. What about that great Hollywood star, Errol Flynn? Ah, oh, it's a lovely story that's told about him. He was cruising down in his yacht to Port Antonio and he got shipwrecked. The old swashbuckler getting shipwrecked in Port Antonio. Lovely. He arrived on the island and he said, hey, this is where I want to live. In fact, he proclaimed that it was more beautiful than any of his women. <laughs> Let's get our pan onto the barbie there. I'm sitting it on top of nice hot coals there. That's what you want so we can toast our sandwich nice and quickly. All right, now, just add a knob of butter to there. Just melt that down, you can see that. That's it. Just beginning to foam at the edge there. OK, take hold of your sandwich and drop that inside the egg mixture. Just turn that over there. Make sure it soaks up some of that lovely spicy rummy egg. And then we're just going to slide that in to our pan. Oh, and just look at all that butter foaming up around the edge. That's really hot underneath there. That's what you want. Oh, lovely. You can see all the foams just beginning to settle down there now. I think it's about time to turn it over. It's been on for about a minute and a half there. Let's flick that up. Oh, look at that. Lovely crispy golden top there. It's all, butter's all melted into it. Ugh, how's the coffee? Mmm, the aroma is a bit special. Oh, lovely. And once all that foaming butter has died down, and you've got a nice golden French toast. Just slide that onto your board. Isn't that beautiful? Ugh. Let's get rid of that. Sprinkle it with a little bit more of that mixed spice on top. If you wanted to, you could quite easily use a bit of cinnamon there. And of course, a touch more sugar. And all that hot butter would just melt into it. Quite beautiful. <laughs> 